in my career as a service design practitioner for 12, 13 years, one of the things that we held really dearly was to put our ego aside um, and to be the facilitators of solutions that people wanted to facilitate the process and to not um, get in the way, to really, again, to be facilitators. Now, over the last few years, my thinking around this is changing a little bit. And the reason for this is that when you put yourself in the role of a pure facilitator, you're putting aside your uh, morals, your values, um, and you're putting aside um, the thing you could contribute to a world you want to see, to the solutions that you want to be putting into the world. And that's not good. I think we as a design community uh, should show more leadership, should show more courage, and the, the interesting thing is leadership and ego tend to get confused and mix up quite quickly. So the question in this video is basically how do we um, communicate our morals? How do we express our moral values in the work that we do without our egos getting in the way, without our egos uh, blending and yeah, again, getting in the way? Because, again, I think we need more leadership and it's good if we demand better solutions and solutions that create the world that we want to see. What do you think? Can we, how do we do that? How do we express our moral values without our egos getting in the way? I'd love to hear your comments on this. One thing that helps for sure if you have clients that embrace the same values and finding better clients is exactly what we talk about in this video so how do you find better service design clients not an easy task but definitely something that is worth it so check out this video and let's continue the conversation over there